Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, which means that it is time for the very first episode of Comic Time with me, Rainbow Red Panda. So I just got back from the comic book store, I was really excited. I usually don't go this early, but I have to work later, so I had to go earlier than expected, which kind of sucks, but still love it. So I had 17 comics on my list to pick up today, and I only ended up with 15, but one of them was from last week that I just didn't pick up, so I actually only got 14. So I have to go back tomorrow or the day after to order the other three, but still, I have enough to time me over for a little while. So some of the stuff that I got, I got the new Young Avengers, which I really like that series. I don't think it's a huge seller, but I really like it. I got the Uncanny Avengers. I'm sensing an Avengers theme. I got the new Superior Spider-Man, which has the Age of Ultron tie-in. It's exciting. It's like two comics in one, maybe. I got the Third Injustice, which goes along with the video game that is coming out soon, I believe. I got the Fantastic Four with the Age of Ultron tie-in. I got My Little Pony, yes. I have not read any of these, but I have a seven-year-old and she loves them. I should love My Little Pony because I love bright colors and rainbow and sparkles and all of that stuff, but I've never really been into My Little Pony. I don't know, I was like into G.I. Joes and stuff whenever everyone else my age was into My Little Pony, like way back in the day, so I, I'll read it eventually, I'm sure. Um, I got the Uncanny X-Force. I got the Age of Ultron. I have all the ones with the tie-ins. Now I have the actual Age of Ultron. This is the third one. The first one was a really awesome, like, foily type, really thick cover. And the other two, I know they can't do it the whole time because it would be super expensive, but you gotta keep people interested. You can't be, like, all flashy and then just be like, oh, just regular comic book now. Like, come on. I got the Ultimate Wolverine number two. I'm excited about I got the Astonishing X-Men. I got Deadpool Illustrated, which I really like these. He kind of like goes back and like does, I think this one's supposed to be like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Then whatever, what is it? The Christmas Carol, same thing. Um, he's done one like Tom Sawyer and Moby Dick was the first one. I think they're interesting. Um, I was really excited about this one. Morbus, Morbius, I was called Morbus. I'm horrible. Um, the new A plus X, which it's been a while since they had one of these that came out. I was kind of beginning to worry about it, that maybe it got discontinued, but alas, it's out. And then this one I am the most excited about. Answer number three! Mainly because Mike Norton favorited me earlier whenever I talked about it, and then whenever I was at the comic book shop and actually purchased it, I tweeted a picture of that, and he tweeted me back and said that he hoped that I enjoyed it. So, Mike Norton, I am going to enjoy this, but I still haven't read it yet because I wanted to get home and do this vlog. I promise I will read it as soon as I get done filming, and then I will let you know what I think. So, that's all the new comic books that I got. There are some other ones that came out, but I didn't buy them. I might go back. I go to the comic book store, like, my store is open from Wednesday through Saturday, and I'm pretty much there at least one time each one of those days. It's ridiculous. Like, I spend way too much time there, but what else are you going to do with your life? I mean, come on. So, it's 113 days until Comic-Con. That's probably backwards to you guys, and I'm really sorry about that. I'm really excited. I'm going to Comic-Con this year, and it's my first year, and I can't wait. I'm going to cosplay. I've never done that before, but I'm going to, and I've thought long and hard about what I want to do, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to do Adam Eve from Invincible, because I have red hair, and she has red hair, and I don't want to wear a wig, and I can't, my hair does not dye, like, ever. The only color that it takes is red, so I'm kind of bound to do that. So if you guys have any other ideas, any other red haired, I kind of, I want to do a comic book character though because it's comic con, it's not like anime con or like video game con, it is 
Comic Con. Like, no, nothing against anyone that goes as, like, an anime character or, like, someone from World of Warcraft or something like that. Like, I still love you. I'm just saying this is my first Comic Con, and I feel like I have to go as a comic book character. So in 113 days, I will send you guys a picture of whatever it is that I decide to do. It'll be a fun time. I'm so excited. Okay. So another thing that I'm excited about is Free Comic Book Day is March 4th. May 4th. Oh my gosh. I fail at life right now. It is May 4th. I got a little bookmark. In case you guys don't believe me. May 4th. Which is a Saturday. Has a list on this little bookmark of all the things that are coming out. And I was originally told, if you can't tell by my shirt because my hair is hiding it, I am obsessed with My Chemical Romance. Very much so. They just broke up and it it, it devastated my heart a lot. And I'm still not over it, but it, I'm getting better. So. Their last album was called Danger Days, Fabulous Life of the True... The, fab, the True Life of the Fabulous Killjoys. I can't even talk. And it was supposed to be released on Free Comic Book Day, but it's not on this list, so I don't know if they changed their mind or if this is just lies. I hope that this is just lies because I'm really excited about it and I don't like to be disappointed when I'm really excited about something. But Gerard Way is working with Sean Simon to make the True Life of the Fabulous Killjoys comic series. It's like a limited, I think it's like six issues maybe. It's a limited amount of issues. It's supposed to have the first like prequel thing on Free Comic Book Day and then the first actual edition comes out on June 6th, and I'm really excited about it. I have it pre-ordered. I've had it pre-ordered for a long time. It's really sad now, like, the band is making a comic book, but the band is no longer together. It, I feel like they picked a really bad time to break up, but I'm not judging. Like, I still love them. I'm still going to love the comic book. It's just going to make it a little sadder for me to read it, but I'm excited still. DC Today on Twitter tweeted a link of all of the trades that they have coming out soon. So whenever I upload this video, I will copy a link to that on the little about this video part so that if you guys are interested, you know, I think they're doing one that this one is one of them that comes out soon. It's going to be issues one through four. And this is the third one. So after the fourth one comes out next month, probably they'll have a trade. So if you were waiting on it, it's coming soon. Okay, so I've decided I am obsessed with baking. Like, I bake cakes and cookies and stuff like crazy. And whenever I get really excited or I get really upset, like, I bake. And I got really excited. Like, I posted a video earlier of my reaction when Mike Norton tweet favorited me on Twitter. And I got really excited, and so I baked some cupcakes. So... Here's some cupcakes, and I've done, there's three here. There's a big one, and then there's two little ones, and this one is a little bit bigger than this one. So I've decided that I'm going to dedicate each one of these cupcakes to somebody. So, this first big cupcake should be no surprise. It goes to Mike Norton, so that's exciting, and I hope that if he ever watches this, that he sees that this cupcake is for him. This one right here, I'm going to touch it. This cupcake is for you, Mike Norton, and it is delicious and rainbowy, and it tastes like heaven, but I will eat it for you later, unless you want to come all the way to Charleston, Illinois, to see this cupcake, which might be a little strange, for, depending on where you are. This cupcake is for my friend Trey, because he commented on my link earlier, and it made me really excited, and he was the first comment that I ever got into my YouTube channel. And it really excited me. Let's try this little cupcake. It's for you. And then this one, the littlest one, is for everybody who's watching this show that stopped playing Bioshock for like five minutes in order to watch this. I really appreciate that because I am friends with a lot of people that play video games all the time and they don't do anything. Like, I tried to get someone to come over to my house yesterday and he didn't want to come over because. Bioshock was on his computer, and it was the most important thing ever. So, if he watches this, this cupcake, this little one right here, it's for you.
it right now. It's out of sight. So you don't need it. So, that's all that I have for this week for free or for the new comic releases. I'm going to do a review later on in the week and post it of Fairy Quest. I still haven't done it. And after the Fairy Quest reviews, I'm going to do one of Answer because I'm still on like a Mike Norton high right now. So, I, I feel like I'm inappropriately loving this too much. I'm really sorry. I just, I get really excited about things and then it just stays that way. So it'll, it'll go away. I promise. Like you don't have to like look in your windows and think, oh my God, is she there? Like, no, I'm not, I'm not there. I, I swear. I just, I just, I'm really excited right now, but it'll, it'll pass. It'll pass. I promise. And with that, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who watches this. Feel free to like or dislike. I would probably dislike this video this week because I'm really strange and I don't think anyone should have to see this. But if you watch it, that's awesome. Feel free to like it anyway. You can subscribe to the channel. You can leave a comment telling me how stupid I look, how delicious my cupcakes look, how much you love answer number three. Or if you're playing Bioshock, just let me know. You know, I dedicated a cupcake to you. You de I deserve to know that you watched it. It's so whatever you want to do. You don't want to do anything? More power to you. I'll see you all next Wednesday for sure. Bye.